Today we celebrate the feast of the profound Carmelite, St. John of the Cross. His famous motto said, Lord, to suffer and be despised for you. Three questions remain. What is suffering? How shall we suffer? Thus, what if we suffer? The Apostolic Letter, Salvific Dolores by John Paul II, highlights how the word suffering encompasses mental and physical tribulations. It is enlightened by St. John of the Cross's life as it, is, as it was filled with sacrifices. These, includes, these include things like a grave-like bed. He plated himself so rough a hair, sh a, a hair shirt that, was, that the slightest movement caused his body to be pricked and blood. It was, the, it, it was the charism of the antiquity, but this is not applicable now as there, are, as there has been a drastic flux in the, pro, in the perspective on suffering. It is because it is changed from an exterior to an interior, which means the sacrifice of the will rather than the sacrifice that are exteriorly shown. Moreover, mental suffering is highlighted in churches uh, catechism as a detachment from the secular world. The question is, if we are taking these sufferings or justify ourselves by saying that I have carrying the internal daily cross, do we make these sacrifices? If we take this daily cross, how do we yield fruits from it? It means carrying crosses with love and devotion. St. John of the Cross offered his first sacrifice by humiliations, fasting, potential te tears, penitential tears, fervent prayers, and long meditations on sufferings of our divine, of our divine rede Redeemer. He carried his daily crosses with love and devotion to the Lord. We, when we observe the life of St. John of the Cross, we might feel overwhelmed uh, due to his sacrifices, we too need to carry these crosses that Jesus presents to us in our daily lives. For example, when I like a food item, do I knowingly consider the other brothers and eat less or, or during games to lower our competitive minds by playing with fraternal love? Then why should we suffer? Love is the complete source of the answer to the meaning of suffering. Jesus Christ gave this answer towards his love for God, the Father. Moreover, we should suffer for our dear loving Jesus because he died for you and for me. The question is, the questions to reflect on are, what suffering do I accept willingly? How do I suffer them? What is my mo motivation behind suffering? Jesus, along with the people of God, is the only answer to these questions. And let us look at our Lord Jesus Christ and look at the people of God. They will illustrate the meaning of suffering. Amen.